We hoped we might see an osprey on our walk through the Tweed Valley last week. Maybe I would photograph it, rising majestically from the water on its huge wings, clasping a salmon in its massive talons. Well, not quite. This was the best I could do, weighing in at seven grams and standing at nine centimetres, the shortest bird in Britain. In the very early Middle Ages, the wren was called the Kuningilin in Old High German. It means kinglet. There was a story that the bird which flew highest would be king, and the wren won by hiding in the feathers of the eagle. It's called the Zaunkönig, king of the hedge, in modern German. Wrens make a surprising amount of noise for their size. They can be hard to see, but if you do see one, it's often throwing its weight around and protesting loudly about something. It's not an osprey, but it means business. Today, churches that go in for celebrations are celebrating Mary's visit to Elizabeth. Just two ordinary women meeting on any old day in a village miles from anywhere. But proclaiming in Mary's song that something earth-shattering is beginning. A mighty king is coming, not as an eagle, but as a wren. Like the wren, he will be hard to spot in quiet places alongside humble people. But like the wren, he will be bold and his voice will be loud, proclaiming hope. Loving God, Make your voice heard in ordinary times and ordinary places, and lift our hearts. Amen.